Kardashian breaking the internet again. It's on the Ebola crisis as that patient in Dallas struggles right now. So much fear the epidemic will spread right here in America. The passenger jet shot down over Ukraine. That area is a large debris field stretching over 10 miles. Here we go. Superstars getting super soaked with buckets of ice water, challenging others to do the same in a movement that's going viral. Now, scenes of chaos are breaking out in Ferguson in the wake of the grand jury verdict. Well, America's slow road to recovery is looking like it has more potholes than paved paths these days. If we're going to bring prosperity back to this country, we need to end the export of our middle class jobs to China and other cheap labor markets. After a year, 4,600 construction jobs in New Jersey are gone. The IMF predicts that by the end of the year, China's GDP, adjusted to the country's relatively low cost of living, will be $17.6 trillion, topping the US. Essentially, that means even though a typical person in China earns less than their American counterpart, they can afford more with their money. Seven of ten graduating students left college last year in debt. The total bill due for students in America tops one trillion dollars. If you're wealthy enough in Detroit, you can have water. Uh, if you're not wealthy enough, you can't have water. Right now, President Obama is trying to get Congress to pass the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a mega trade deal that could radically change everyone's interaction with the global economy. He's in a special method. He's trying to get it through Congress using a special method called fast tracking. Mr. President, I'm back on the floor to talk about a dangerous provision that was slipped into a must-pass spending bill at the last minute solely to benefit Wall Street. While the Bush and Obama administrations have kept the public in the dark about what's in the TPP, they've let big corporations not only look at draft versions of the treaty, they've even let those corporations make changes to them. In fact, in many cases, the corporations wrote the first drafts in the first place. It shouldn't be any surprise then that President Obama doesn't even want Congress to look at the TPP. So Chinese investors have directed their money to the land of opportunity, reportedly purchasing the most expensive homes with an average price tag of more than half a million dollars. That's compared to about $200,000 that the average American spends. Well, here is one thing politicians cannot debate. 40% of the jobless in the United States have been out of work for more than two years. Finding solid, long-term employment is in many respects a job in itself.